previously it was Selvos um, vines. Ivan. And then with the yeah, one that also a big bucket, um, got rid of it, it broke. like we used the um, the handle, the the tools to cut it off the, it apart. the wires that is stuck with the plants. Um, and then like um, yeah, it was quite um, it was a mission though. I like well, yeah. Considering something like five of us working, you know, like it was okay. a teamwork effort and stuff. Okay. Like honestly, on mm, this block here, it's like 15, 20,000 plants, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so like we got rid of it, like you know, using the tools, um, just kind of like cutting it off. And then um, <clears throat> they got the permanent workers. They um, using the chainsaw, like manually, they have to take off the head after we cut off the the wires that is kind of like stuck with the vines the heads the trunk sorry what i mean and then um once they did that but well, we did that sorry and then the um the permanent workers from the block well yeah they um using the um, chainsaw to cut off the heads and then after that um we um our crew we got like three of us um chucking into the gondola well before that we were um did manually we put it on the back of a mule that we got a trailer as well and then a truck a truck that can like um flipped like you know the back of the trailer like when they're um, loading it and then unloading it you know so we got two um, yeah, um <laughs> vehicles to to load it up and then um with the mill you have to do manually you have to take it up manually you know what i mean yeah, with the trailer <laughs> that's before we recommended the owner we're like oh maybe we can use the um gondola um take it away, i think it was like four meters um, um size ones yeah or also maybe eight or something yeah so all the stuff that has, has already been um cut off using the so um because they need to put it not in the middle of the road because you know if you put it in the middle of the road you can't really uh, get through it so what they did the um the permanent workers they're making sure they put it two in one kind of thing like That's you know, my heart. so they don't put every single hey, row when they cut it off you know what i mean like left and right and they just put it one into one row Aye. so when we come in we Aye, chuck into the gondola or? Or even before that, using the truck, you know, we load it up. It, yeah, it's just not enough um, space. It's just taking like at least what three, four, five, six times, like you know, loading it up and then going to unloading it at the back. Of what they got um two side of the block, they got this um silvos and they got the um the other um Sauvignon Blanc, but it's on the other side. But they got some space where they bring them all out. But yeah, so you need to load it up, unload it into the space that they've got there when they burn them them down like i think like a few months ago and then um yeah but we need to load it up and then unloading it with the truck it's all good you can just use the um the button just to unload it the, um, the trailer on the back yeah but with the mule you have to do it manually <laughs> it's, it's like two boys like you know a driver and then another person or two people sorry so unloading it but then when we recommend it using the gondola it's easier you know what i mean you can fit in like at least so you only have to do like once or twice in the long rows and stuff max three rows or three times but it's not like five six times you know like yeah but it's, it's much efficient as well though you know just chuck everything inside the gondola boom boom you know the heads the trunks that it's been cut off and then um yeah so now well after that yeah, when it's all finished then the, um, the permanent workers they come in they use the um uh, machine to dig it up you know and then they put like this new soil and stuff you know like yes yeah, to replace it where we doing this now um uh planting it and then they put like yeah um but they need to get rid of this um wires they were like yeah, they was not necessary because there was for the silver plants and they used um the prime ties and stuff you know but now we just have just have to um plants it again with the new um, plants like the Sauvignon Blanc so um, <clears throat> as you can see there use my spades um, try to dig it in and then putting the plants in 
and then making sure um, the heads, the knobs, is not facing um, the road, you're facing the north or south side. You know what I mean? So, like here. So, when it grows, it doesn't go into the middle of the road. You want to go to north or south. You know what I mean? So, and also, like, it has to be lined up. You can't, yeah. Because when the tractors comes in, you know, they're going to hit it. So, it's between those um, posts. You can't go out, you can't go way, way, um, way to it. The road, yeah, so you need to line it up as well. So, like, yeah, so and then you need to, um, uh, you put the plants in, right? And then you just take a little bit up, you know, like just pull it up a bit, pull it up a bit, and then, um, stomp it, you know. So, it's okay, it's like, so <laughs> you will, the, um, and also when you put the plants in, the roots also like need to be, um, specific way as well, like, um, so it doesn't break them so it was kind of like making sure that it would go underneath as well that's the main important thing as well because you know you're not doing this job like every year or every two years or three years i'm talking about 20 25 or even 30 years ahead of us you know like so you want to have making sure that the vines are properly um plants in into the ground you know in an efficient way so like yeah so um <coughs> as you can see there I don't want to take the set first row because of the the ground is a bit harder. <laughs> take the second row. <laughs> you know, we roll. <laughs> but um, yeah, one anyway, um, so in yeah. one row, oh, sorry, in one bay, they've got um um posted posted on like four brothers, plants, you know, like so. Plus, it was um, raining the day before and it's still a little bit wet, as you can see. That my um, gun was got a little bit muddy. And you know, just a bit slow us down a bit, you know. But it is what it is. But at the end of the day, um, we got the job done. Brother. You know, like fishing way, the way how we plant it. You know, people can make you know um, do it really fast, but the job's not going to be good and stuff. You know, like yeah. But then we just you see the um, ice cream stick there. Yeah, mm. um, one of the two of our crews, um, they did that like marking it 1.8 meters, I think, the length. So like yeah, so they, they marked it. So making sure everything is all lined up as well. Um, so like yeah, so if you guys got any questions, don't be shy to leave a comment. Don't forget to also um, subscribe as well. So I'm trying to get like videos every day, so like you can see what it's like to be working the vineyard and also like knowing the job is done like in springtime. You know, like not in, during summer or during like um, uh, winter. You no 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 <laughs> to be like doing that right now like in middle of September or October-ish, you know, like, yeah. And then, um, yeah, so as you can see there, see, they have planted it, yep. They get up, yep, making sure it's all lined up, yeah. So if you guys got any questions, you know, just don't, don't be shy to leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe as well. I'm trying to get, like, videos uploaded every day so you can see what it's like to be working in the vineyard. And I'm based in Blenheim, South Island, um, New Zealand, in Marlborough region, so like, yeah. Johan's out. So it's right.